it's a local tradition since 1999, and it started off well as a party, and it's a fundraiser for the community actually. All the proceeds that we collect goes towards a special project for the island, or we do it to different um, non-profit organizations. We give a donation to education, tourism, health, and community. We try to do every year have a different theme. So we had dive into Utila, underwater theme. So this year we saw a lot of um, dive shops getting together and doing like manta rays and stuff like that, anything from under the sea. So it was all just a big underwater party. We always started off by having the coronation of our carnival queen. Then that's followed by a party throughout the town. We have different sections of the island. Every night it's a different party somewhere else. So what we're gonna do today? Same thing we do every day. Defy the world. <laughs> they say our buzzing. Me and you saw the island and we listen to a lot of Caribbean music. So we always try to have like an, a reggae artist to come over from Jamaica or somewhere else in the Caribbean. I'm doing this one for days. Give me the track. I said if we never get a chance to be together now, go to job, tell me we love you. Go to say it is a bit if you want to really Then on Saturday it's always the parade day throughout the town. We're looking forward to it. We're waiting on everybody to form and then we're gonna head down to town. Music is gonna be blasting. Everybody just having a good time. My favorite part of the carnival is the parade day, to be honest, because when you see all of the people just enjoying the parade and then the party afterwards and the smile on their face and they're laughing and having fun, then you just get that warm feeling and that we know that our hard work and dedication to carnival is being enjoyed by our town. Utila, it's our third year in a row now. Every year, it gets better. We want this to be a really big carnival every year, and we're shooting for a sustainable carnival. We would like it to be plastic free, so every year we're working harder and harder to make Utila um, the number one sustainable destination in the world, so that is our goal for carnival as well. The way we end the carnival every year is by the boat floats, and which is mostly done by the different dive shops on the island. They all get together and they decorate their dive boats with palm leaves and stuff like that, and then the divers are always the ones on board. They get a few lights, they get music, and they have their drinks, and they're just riding around, cruising around the harbor, just having a good time. And also we want to invite not only the dive shops, but everyone on the island who has their own boat. You can get in, you decorate it a bit, get some lights, get some music. Our national tourists who come over from the mainland, they fill up a lot for during carnival, especially the weekend when they're not working. And families come over just to enjoy themselves. They hit the beach and then they go to the parades and stuff and it's really nice. We really have all kinds of people who come together and, and join us for the carnival. To get to Utila for carnival especially is pretty easy. If you're coming from the mainland, you can always take Head Manalas bus, then it takes you directly to La Ceiba, then you can get on the Utila Dream Ferry and they bring you directly over here and it's about an hour to get from La Ceiba to Utila. You can also then come from Rotan on the ferry. For those who missed the carnival this year, we want to invite you to the carnival next year. You can always book your tickets for mid-July. Dates are coming soon for the carnival. Keep up to date with us on Utila Carnival on Facebook. New surprises are coming for this next year. Every year there's new surprises and a lot happening. I never think about if we never be together for each other. That it could be the last time we're together. So let's make the most of the time we have together right now.